This week's grocery haul is not the same old, same old. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for stopping by. I have a weekly grocery haul for y'all. No meal plan because we are going to Vegas this week, so it would have been kind of boring and repetitive, but I do mention what we're having in the actual video. And make sure to follow me on Instagram because you can see everything in real time and all the things the fam is eating. We went to Walmart, Target, Costco. We haven't been to Costco in a hot second. And I included my Thrive Market haul in here with the prices. Y'all been screaming to see the prices. And keep in mind that the prices I paid might not be the prices you paid. They might be lower. They might be higher. It depends on what sales and deals Thrive is having. Let me take it down to the counter and show you what we got at all of the new places. Guess what's finally back? And I could not be more excited. The Target drive up. However, my mission was to get the freaking pumpkin too good. And they had three in stock, it said. But apparently somebody beat me to the punch and now they're out at all targets everywhere. Look, I've checked, I'm that cray. So I cannot find it, what is my life? But that's okay, we needed some things that I can't get at other places and I am so grateful for that drive up to be back. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Got the Good and Gather turkey sausage. I like this one the best because the macros are the best and it's one of the cleanest that you can find. It's 90 calories for two ounces, six grams of fat and 11 whopping grams of protein, zero carb for my keto peeps out there. We like that one and I have a breakfast bagel casserole thing I'm gonna be making, um, yes please. The boys love these stone fire non rounds. I did buy the Target brand one last week if you watch that grocery haul and it's way cheaper. They're a little bit more thick, they're not as thin as these but the boys liked them, they ate them up. But you get more in here for the price. So I think this is actually a better value, I don't know. But I know they like these and they're always sold out. They had them, snatched them. Another thing I can't always find is just the fat free Fair Life. This is the one that I like to get for most recipes. The boys don't, they can't tell a difference between like the 2%, 1%, this one, it doesn't matter. So I like to get this one since I'm using it for recipes and we can all use it, but they're flying through it because they are on like a cereal kick right now on the weekends and they are just going through milk like nobody's business. I don't think I've ever hauled tomato juice in my entire life. Like I love ketchup, but y'all comment down below if you're like a ketchup lover, but you don't eat regular like fresh tomatoes, but you like tomato stuff, if that makes sense. Yeah, it me girl, it me. Believe it or not, my Walmart doesn't carry tomato juice. Maybe like the V8, I don't know, but I needed some 100% tomato juice and this one is just straight up water tomato concentrate salt that's it 50 calories for eight ounces and it doesn't have any added sugars which is nice i need that for a like big roast recipe it calls for that that's an elise ellis recipe yes jen if you're watching my girl in with jen calls these cardboard <laughs> she says that this is cardboard uh, her hubby likes these i like them too but i've only ever tried the regular this is the caramel and everybody raves about this one and the chocolate they're a little bit more macro dense these are 50 calories versus just the plain ones. It is 11 total and net carbs and one protein. But what I'm going to do is take some Greek yogurt and put some of the pumpkin pie PE science, mix it up, put it on top of this for an afternoon snack to get a little bit more carbs in post-workout. That's my plan and I can't wait to try the new flavor. This is something else I got for the boys, but you know your girl is going to be eating at least one because I love candy apple flavored anything. Candy apple pretzels, fudge coated pretzels, a limited edition favorite day is this brand of Target that's pretty awesome as far as like some things that are good for anabolic and like really awesome flavored things. Seven pieces, it's 150 calories, six fat, 21 carbs, and two protein. You know, it's it's basically candy on top of pretzels, but I'm gonna try one. But I have something in mind for Halloween lunches for that, so that's why I picked it up. And Target, Target like needs to stop. They keep sending me these notifications, and they had a notification on like all their mugs, their five dollar mugs, and you know, you know, I clicked on it, and I clicked on it, and they had this cauldron mug. I mean, look at the little spider right there the detail on it with the web I didn't even know that I thought it was just a plain black cauldron mug and I was still here for that but damn let's go target five bucks how freaking cute like like I say every week like I need another coffee cup like I need a hole in my head like I, just, I, I don't know what I'm doing but you know what treat yourself five bucks every once in a while go ahead girl go ahead so that's what we got for the drive up happy it's back but disappointed I can't find the pumpkin pie freaking yogurt y'all let me know if you found it and if you my pitiful $95 Costco haul like I have not been to Costco
Costco since the summer. I was told that they had all the things in stock. What I mainly went for was these two things, but they were out of like the shrimp that I wanted, the healthy noodle, all the things, the coffee I got last time. Oh man, Sam's is where it's at. I say that every time. I am a Sam's lover. Don't hate me down below if you love Costco, but Sam's to me is just a million percent better. But Costco does have these couple of things that Sam's doesn't, and that's the only thing I go for. So I only go to Costco when I'm totally out and I'm totally out of these things. So that's not every month. The Tyson Black and Chicken Tenders, I cannot find these anywhere. Y'all know I've been on the hunt. They had them today. So I got two bags. I am totally out. I bought these two bags over the summer and it lasted me up until now. So this will last me a good while. So that's why I got two. Everybody is raving about the Just Bear lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. I don't, I don't know if this is a Costco exclusive, but that's where everybody says that they get it. And the reason why I got it is because Elise Ellis just posted a filet dupe uh, breakfast sandwich thing, and they're 160 calories for three ounces, six fat, nine carb, and 16 protein. Also got them for Waylon for his chicken nugget option too, because they are better ingredients than a lot of the other ones. The Jones fully cooked chicken sausages, I have like three left. These things are my favorite. For three links, it's only 90 calories and how many grams of protein? 10 grams of protein, let's go. And for the price, you cannot beat it. They do sell these locally to me, but they're in small packages for like million dollar. No, thank you. Pumpkin spice, I went ahead and got this huge like five and a half ounce. I do have some from Thrive Market coming, but I can't have enough because I'm making all the pumpkin things and flying through this stuff. The boys love the Simply line of all the Lay's products and they love the Cheeto puffs. This thing is filled, look, this is ridiculously awesome, okay? Because most of the time when you get chips, it's like this, right? Air and then half of it. This is filled to the very top of Cheeto puffs and the ones from Sam's are smaller and they're definitely halfway full. And for the price, that was awesome. I should have got more than one bag, dang it. They only had one on the shelf of the Taste of the South Low Country Jalapeno Pimento Cheese. Only one, okay? So I was like, okay, I guess you're coming home with me. I wanted to get two for Trey. He loves this on top of steamed broccoli and he'll eat just that. That's a mom win for me. But I went ahead and got what they had and then also surprised to see that they did sell the Daisy Low Fat Cottage Cheese at 2%. This is the one I've been buying. I've been mentioning. I really like the taste of this one. I can't find the good culture anymore at my Target. So this is the next best option for me. 90 calories for a half a cup two and a half fat and 13 grams of protein. Love that. I eat that with some everything but the bagel seasoning and dip the blackened chicken tenders in it. Um, thank me later. Last but not least, we got some uh, toilet paper. I mentioned that Sam's Club is like over $20 for their toilet paper. This was still $16 and some change. So I was happy about that. We actually like this one a little bit better than the Sam's Club one. So when I make the trip every three months or whatever, I'm gonna get bath tissue and uh, chicken sausages and Tyson chicken tenders. That's basically all I'm going to Costco for. So that is my little sad $95 Costco haul. I know guys, nothing Instead of making a separate video for this Thrive haul, it's not much. I wanted to throw it in here. I love Thrive and I always have a link down below that gets you like some crazy stupid discount when you click on it. So if you are new to Thrive, check that out, but I really love them for some certain products. I was totally out of seasoning, so I got Thrive Season Wasted. They are so cheap on their seasonings, I really like them. I am low on garlic powder, and what I do with these packets is I just save my original container, or y'all know they sell those glass ones, and you can just fill them up that way and not just use them out of these little plastic Ziploc things. Three of the garlic powder, one basil, I am almost out. I'm almost out of onion powder and then I fly through cinnamon because I add it in my coffee every day and of course all the recipes, so two of those. And then the Thrive Market Organic Taco Seasoning Mix is comparable, it's a dupe for the Siete one. So if you like the Siete one with the killer ingredients, this one is really, really close to that one. And I have a couple of recipes that always calls for a packet. If not, I just use my own, but I went ahead and got those because they were super cheap. Boys love to add like the flavor enhancers to their water and this is a good option. Zero sugar, sweet leaf water drops. They sell these on Thrive. I know a lot of y'all buy these off Amazon, but they're a pretty good deal over there. So we got the strawberry kiwi, the peach mango, and the mixed berry for them. 
Waylon especially loves these. They sell this at Target, but not at my Target. Anyway, my Target is slacking on the pumpkin things. This is the Califia Farms Almond Milk Creamer with Coconut Dairy-Free Pumpkin Spice Creamer. So for one tablespoon, it is five calories, half a gram of fat, zero protein, and zero net carbs. This is definitely keto friendly. I don't remember if I tried this last year, but I got this to go either in my coffee to spruce it up just a little bit more or to put it in some recipes instead of almond milk. Now it will up the calories a little bit, but I'm here for it with the pumpkin flavor. The boys love peanut butter, but it's gotta be crunchy, y'all. It's gotta be crunchy if you watch the Lunchbox videos. And I got the Thrive Organic Peanut Butter Crunchy in the squeeze tube just for those little waffle sandwiches I make instead of like getting a knife because you don't need much. I'm just gonna squirt it on there. I thought that would be pretty good. I'm gonna try that out. And then we've been buying this dark roasted peanut butter Santa Cruz Organic one. And I like this one because it's just dark roasted peanuts and salt. That's it for the boys. And they really enjoy it. And and you can get this one at Whole Foods, but it's way more expensive there than Thrive. Every Thrive order, I always throw in a Chosen Foods 100% pure avocado oil spray. I use this daily multiple times. This is a must, and I always have one that I'm using and a backup. So when the backup's gone, I add it to my Thrive order and go ahead and get it here. Y'all haven't seen me haul this. I hauled this big win way back when, if you watch every one of my grocery hauls and my Thrive hauls. This is the Thrive 100% pure Vermont organic maple syrup. They do sell a big one like this at Costco and at Sam's Club for a good price, but I went ahead and got it there because we have bought this one and we like it. And this is what the boys are using versus any of the sugar replacement ones now, just pure maple syrup. And they don't eat this every single day. I am out of baking soda. Like I had a recipe the other day, I need a baking soda. And I was like, girl, you don't have any baking soda. What the hell? So I went ahead and got just a big one of those 16 ounces, super cheap over there. Also, it is baking season and I'm almost done with the one I got from Costco or Sam's. I can't remember, but I went ahead and got two, four ounce of the organic vanilla extract pure by Thrive. Pretty good price over there. Also love their organic pumpkin and I am going through pumpkin like nobody's business. If you watch the meal prep videos and the vlogs, I'm making everything pumpkin. I'm here for it. Other spices I got, I know I just told you in the Costco haul, I got that big pumpkin pie spice, but let me tell you, I will use both of them, so don't you worry. And then I love the apple pie spice by Primal Palette. It is a must. If you haven't tried this one, it like enhances anything apple. It's next level. You need it in your life. So my girls in with Jen and Shelly have been raving about these pepperoni season turkey sticks by Chomps. They are new. They were out on Thrive for a while. Check and see if they have them. And then they are out at a lot of places. I thought you got more in here. You only get 10 sticks in here for the price. Chomps is pretty pricey. Versus, and the new Primal is pricey too. All the good ones are. But I can't wait to try this one. For one stick, it is only 60 calories, two and a half fat, 10 grams of protein. That's nuts. Cannot wait to try here. They're next level. I'm obsessed with the Bonza pasta. I like the Barilla too, but this one has a little bit more protein and just a slightly less uh, tasting of real pasta. The Barilla is on point, but it's a little bit less protein. You pick which one you want, but I got the Bonza. This is like the Velveeta shells. That's the shape of that one. And then I got the Pinne and then I got the Rigatone. I know I'm butchering that. For recipes, I'm like out of all the pasta. So I went ahead and stocked the pantry. So the boys are almost out of their vitamins. I like getting the Smarty Pants brand and they've been, this is the same exact one I hauled last time and they're almost out and they like it. And then I always throw in this vitamin code raw D3. Every time I make a Thrive haul, I take one of these every day to make sure I'm getting that vitamin D. And that's everything we got for this Thrive haul. Get shipped right to your door, guys. They have frozen and cold stuff options now, meat, all kinds of stuff. They've definitely expanded. So like I said, if you're new and you want to try them out, it's a risk-free thing. You can sign up, get all the discounts. They always have things on sale, the items, all kinds of craziness. But if you're not happy with it after 30 days, you can cancel and you won't get charged the membership. So you can definitely try it risk. $114 in store Walmart haul. I did get $5 back from Ibotta. I will tell you what we got some cash back on. Have a link down below that should get you like $10 off if you're new to Ibotta. So last week y'all saw me haul the sweet Hawaiian little rolls and they were awesome for that Monte Cristo recipe we did by Elise Ellis. It was fire. It's definitely going in the rotation. But I saw these slider buns. Like, how cute are these? And they're a little bit bigger for only 10 calories more per bun. 
and 13 net carbs, three protein. I actually got these for the boys, but I might get these next time for those sliders and just up the macros just a little bit. But I'm gonna put like some ham and cheese on these and do something fun for their lunch boxes. So I got those definitely more affordable than the name brand. And this one's more in stock than the name brand by me anyway, right now too. I got a bunch of bananas. I got three that look like they're uh, on their last leg, but we're gonna eat those now. And then I got some super green ones for later. The boys are out of orange juice and I did get the great value, 100% orange juice, the no, no pulp one. We do like the homemaker one too. And it's a really good deal at Sam's, but as y'all know, I went to Costco and not Sam's this week. Their life has a 50 cent rebate that you can submit up to five times on Ibotta. They did not have the skim. So I did get the 2% reduced fat for the boys for their cereal. I'm gonna be making those slow cooker green beans by Elise Ellis again. I made them this week. I'm gonna make them again. That's how much we liked them and how easy they were and how fresh using the fresh green beans really like that aspect. Sam's has the two pound bag, I think for a little bit cheaper, but it was about the same price. And then I did get a bigger container of strawberries this week than I've been getting for Waylon because myself, I'm gonna be eating some strawberries this week. I haven't had fresh strawberries in a hot second, so I got the big mama jamma. Got some sliced cheeses. I love the Sargento Ultra Thin. It's shaved so many calories if you're cutting or if you are just weighing and tracking and wanting to use your calories for other things. I needed the provolone for a recipe. And then we really love this thinly sliced Swiss cheese on the Monte Cristo sliders and other recipes. And for two slices, it's only 90 calories, six protein, seven grams of fat. So that is winning. Y'all know I say it every week. If I See the light and fit Greek caramel apple pie at Walmart. I pick it up. They had five on the shelf and guilty. I will admit I got all five and cleared the shelf. I did. Because so I don't know when this is going to be back. I use this in the caramel apple overnight protein oatmeal that I love and I love just dipping apples in it. So I'm going to use it. It's not going to go to waste. Boys have been loving some bacon occasionally and bacon is like million dollar. We talked last week about the price and flux on things. I do like the bacon, the Coleman brand from Imperfect Foods, but I didn't place an order. So I just got some of the great value fully cooked thick cut bacon for them to have speaking of the boys they're loving those homemade toaster strudels that i featured on my instagram reel how to make them and i've talked about it in the lunchbox video so definitely give those a view and they need the crescent dough sheets make sure you look this is really a uh, deceiving you could pick up the crescents in no time but you can still use those but this just makes it easier and i got three of those and then the treat them this weekend they said they wanted some cinnamon rolls we don't do this every weekend i got the two pack of just the regular regular old cinnamon rolls to have for a treat. I'm gonna be doing some like protein yogurt cereal bark. I don't know, it seems kind of fun. And we've talked about in the lunchbox videos that my boys are weird with presentation and when how things are presented to them, they will eat it versus not. And it's the same freaking ingredients. Y'all know kids, kids, the struggle is real. And we, we converse about it in the lunchbox videos. I did get a big container of the light and fit Greek vanilla. This is 14 grams of protein and 90 calories per serving. They did like the Walmart knockoff to this and it's way cheaper, but my store was sold out. So I just got the name brand. For recipes, I needed some seasoning packet mixes. I got just the regular Italian dressing packet and then the au jus gravy packet by McCormick. And then we've got four cans of the whole kernel corn. And the reason why is I just wanted to stock the pantry because the boys are loving corn like nobody's business. And is it the best veggie? No, but it's better than chips or some other things that they would grab for versus a whole food, if that makes sense. We are doing a slow cooker like pot roast thing and I'm using the pot roast to make multiple different meals throughout the week. I love doing that with like pork, roast, whatever. This is the Chuck Tender Roast. Make sure you get the one that says tender because they like shave most of the fat off when you're looking at the macros. It was way less than some of the fattier uh, things of beef. And this is a two and a half roast for 1527. Not terrible. They do have the grass fed ones too, but they were super small and I needed a, a big old mama jamma. Did not need this this week, but I bought a had a dollar cash back rebate for up to five bags. Now I wish they would have had the risotto medley, but I haven't seen that in a while at my store. Y'all know I use the entire bag for these for bowls for lunch options for the high volume, low calorie aspect. Love it for this. And these are super clean ingredients. This one in the risotto. And there was a re uh, bonus. So because I bought four, I got four bucks back. And then I also got a 50 cent uh, bonus for buying for. So that was $4.50 back for these. So it made them a dollar something a bag, which is awesome. We were just talking about corn. I love corn on the cob. We like the fresh, but I just wanted to have these on hand and so they don't spoil in the freezer. The Green Giant Extra Sweet Corn little mini ones. There's only 50 calories per ear. They have been sold out of these for a long time since Hurricane Ida. So I got those for our sides for recipes. 
Now, oh, let's talk about the elephant in the room right here. I don't think I've ever bought a Twinkie in my life. I am not lying. However, when I was 230 pounds most of my life, y'all, most of y'all know, we've talked about this. Little Debbie and myself, we were BFFs. I bought some Little Debbies in my day, okay? I admit it, but I don't think I've ever bought a Twinkie. Now, they are doing Ghostbuster lunch boxes this week and y'all know the part where he talks about like that's a big twinkie and <laughs> i have a cute like super cute label i bought off etsy to go on this i mean long ramble about a damn twinkie but that's why we bought twinkies and y'all can see i only bought the dollar two pack versus the big ass box because i was like girl you don't need that many twinkies the boys don't need that many twinkies because they are horrible for you but just to have something fun and for the theme i got a little dollar two pack okay we did need some more toothpaste we love this colgate max fresh Usually there's an Ibotta rebate where you can get like this three pack for a buck. There wasn't. That's okay. We needed it. Also needed some plates. I went with the everyday plates. This is like the eight and some inches, a hundred plates. And then I did get two more bags of the Quest chips. We love these. It's just easy to go on the side of like Taco Tuesday or some kind of sandwich we're doing. It's got 19 grams of protein, 140 calories. You cannot beat it. It is much more cost effective to do the big bags at Target. I plan on doing that soon, but I just got two to tide us over. They are on a rollback right now at Walmart though, if you do want to pick them up singly to try. Last but not least, we got some drinks. These were on rollback for $2 and some change for the little 16 something ounces. I love this Canada Dry Zero. One of my favorite non-caffeinated zero sodas. I love, love, love it and I have zero. Speaking of, I have zero of the Dr. Pepper cream soda. They did not have that today, womp womp, because that's my favorite, but they did have the cherry zero, so I picked one of those up. And then y'all, they finally got the Gatorade Zero back. There was not many on the shelf and everybody was grabbing it. Like they were like, yeah, like <laughs> we haven't seen this in months. I'm like, yes, give me one too. So I got six berry, six glacier cherry and six glacier freeze. The hubby and Waylon take these for baseball and Trey and Waylon take these in their lunch boxes. And I have like cute labels that I wrap them in and the colors match their scheme, you know. So that's everything we got for $114. And I did get five bucks back with Ibotta. Y'all check Ibotta out guys because you get so much cash back on things you're already buying. It's awesome. So that's going to do it for this week's grocery haul. Please give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these weekly grocery hauls here on my channel. And if you are new here, I'd love to have you a part of the family. Smash everything down below so you do not miss it. And just a heads up, we've got a bonus grocery haul tomorrow, everyone. We went to Trader Joe's and we found some things I was on the hunt for, some things we didn't, but I'll take it because with Hurricane Ida and the shelves being bare at all the places, I was grateful to get what I could get and would definitely be going back before the holidays. Christmas is coming, y'all. You always have to go ahead of time at these special stores and snag all the goodies. Y'all have an amazing day and an awesome week and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow already with another grocery haul at Trader Joe's. See you then. Bye y'all.